instructor. Can you tell me about that? <laughs> I guess to a certain extent. I, I, I try not to interfere with any of them. In fact, Amy Simonton's going to caddy for me. Um, Vincent's got a wealth of talent. Um, yeah, we've had a lot of conversations over the last couple of years just discussing golf and life and things like that. And yeah, I think I'm that, that kind of person that can support him and answer some questions for him uh, as best as I know. Now, Vincent, you and yeah, I have known each other since my son and you played peewee basketball together and golf together when That's you right. were like six, seven, eight, nine. So I've seen you grow up and, right. and not only do you have a, a picture perfect swing, you're just a you're just a great young man, a great representative of the state of Oregon. Well I appreciate that. Yeah. It's good to be here and uh, you know hopefully I don't count as much as I did when I was five. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were tough. Just so you hit some shots. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Now, the, uh, one thing that Vincent has is uh, what all kids have today, what you and I don't have is length. Oh, my gosh. This Vincent, is, he's, uh, besides Jamie Sadlowski, where are you, Jamie? Yeah, there he is, yeah. yeah. Which I'm look, really looking for. I don't even know why you have me up here right now. I'm just waiting for him to get you, up here. Because you're um, a star. But, but Vince has that kind of power for sure. Intuitively, he doesn't necessarily try to rev it up or swing really hard, effortless power. Um, no, a couple of the things that you work with him on, uh, just talk a couple of fundamentals. A little, fundamentals. A little, basically we talk about the pelvis and how it moves. And I know this wasn't gonna get instructional, but a lot of people, a lot of you are slicers and that's because the pelvis kind of spins and the belt kind of moves back. So we talk about this thing moving up and forward. And that, that was one thing that uh, Vince and I have worked on hard. And I think that's, you, you'll see it in his golf swing where he's developed that. And basically, Peter, just being centered, being making it simple, yeah. least compensatory moves and tight. Well, the, and I think the thing that uh, all golfers of all levels, whether you're on the tour or whether you're just beginning, I think it's an important thing to remember that if you can turn around a still center, yeah. if you can keep your head still, you can see I'm going to put my hand on the right side of yeah. Vincent's head, and you can see that his head doesn't move back and yeah. it moves slightly forward as he moves through the ball. Yeah. If all of you can do that in your golf swing, mm -hmm. you're going to improve your swing. You're going to improve your shots. You can't be moving. If I were to push, if I were to push Vincent back like this, <laughs> he's going to be worried more about skipping the ball in the water like Elkinton and McCarran than he is about making birdie. Now, another cool thing, Vincent, I want you to tell us about, tell us about uh, the LA Open a couple years ago. Yeah, uh, that was in 2009, so, uh, you know, I went from playing amateur golf to, you know, surprise, you got an exemption to play in, uh, you know, one of the one of the most prestigious events on tour. And so, the Northern uh, Trust LA Open. Yeah, yeah, so I, uh, the, the most, the coolest part, probably starting off the week, uh, the courtesy car. You know, I have a little Nissan Sentra, and I, I, I checked that in, and I got got the bins for the week. So I didn't want to return it, but they made me. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. You, just, you drove you drove in the left hand lane with your blinker on really slow. That's right, ten and two. Yeah, that's yes. how they drive in Florida. It, it, yeah. it took me fifteen minutes to work to work the gas gauge. You know, I, I didn't even know how to put gas in. It's too high tech. See, I'm on the Champions Tour. We get to drive carts. And that's what we do. We leave our left-hand blinker on the entire back nine and nobody cares. <laughs> yeah, nobody cares. Nobody cares. I'm making a left-hand turn six miles up, and I'm going to stay in that left lane and go really, really slow. But it was also the Charlie Sifford exemption as part of the uh, LA Open, that's, which I think is a great tribute to Charlie Sifford, yeah. one of the pioneers yeah, on the PGA right. Tour. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he was. He was the, uh, the first African-American to have a, a PJ Tour card. And uh, so they wanted to pay homage to his accomplishments and his perseverance. And, uh, you know, I benefit, you know, Tiger Woods and really any, any minority. Um, he, was, he was one of the pioneers. I love that we're going to have Casey up in a little bit. But I remember Casey said that he played at Stanford. He played with, with he had the Rainbow the Rainbow Coalition. He had Tiger. He had Casey. He had Nota Begay, an Af American Indian, and another player. I can't remember. I think he was a Jap uh, from from uh, he was a Japanese American. I don't think that's what the Rainbow Coalition is yes, about. Yes, <laughs> we're going with that, El. We're going with it. We're going with it. Hey, I want you to hit a few balls. You did? Yeah, I do. What if I want you to hit some? I'm not going to hit some. Heck, you've been playing good. I've been watching your scores good. on the senior tour. But you, Brian, as old as you are, it's unbelievable. I know. You can't I even know. stand up. I know. Stop. Oh, my God. You, you smell me, I smell like moth. You smell me? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> hit, hit a couple yeah, shots. Brian just had neck surgery. Yeah, a couple years ago. 
A couple years ago, had neck surgery, but he's getting ready to turn 50 in how long? A year? No, I've turned 50 in October. What? I gotta figure out what I want to do. You're coming. You're turning 50 this yeah, October. Am I gonna come hang out with you, or am I gonna yeah. continue to hang out with Vince? Uh, probably it's a lot more fun. To or hang Amy, out with you. she's a lot better looking than you. <laughs> yes. That's, no question. No question. Yeah. I eat at five o'clock. You do? Yes. Five o'clock. Turn the lights out. But I go, I go to restaurants only where a cardiologist is on staff. <laughs> <laughs> and it's and yes, but I want a blender brought to the table. So if I order a steak and potatoes in the blender, and I just drink it. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, Enough of this frivolity. God, this is tough. I'm kind of nervous. Are you? Yeah. Maybe I should just chip a ball first. Yeah, there you go. Just to get feel for it. That was nice. Yeah, that was good. You see the yellow the streaks on tour yellow ball? You can see that. By the you way, you may want to play that when you turn fifty. Yeah, I definitely. I guess I, I don't know. I don't know if I can see. So that's good. So, so Peter, this is the best part of the lesson. This is usually what our lessons turn into. He just says, "Watch me." <laughs> <laughs> he says, "Watch me." Vince, this is how you feel. What you get? This down. <laughs> so you pay him to have you watch him hit balls. <laughs> is that annoying? You know, I learn a lot, and I can't get a bad shot from here. So, <laughs> I'm so, in a great so spot. what what does your coach do wrong? Yeah, talk to me. I, not much. You know? <laughs> oh, I gotta give him a little love for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I hit a couple shots for you. Okay, one more. Right. One more. I'm the same thing. I mean, like, if my head stays stationary and I just unwind around, I'm pretty good. Yeah. By the way, I want you to know that I, I hired a new caddy. You did? I did. Hired a new caddy. His name is Matty. He's oh. normally here, but he's late. As you know, he's, he's not a very good caddy. Yeah. yeah. I know that guy, actually. actually. Yeah. Yeah. I, end up bailing, I have to bail him out. Any questions he's for, uh, show up. for Vincent or Brian? Any questions? Nice hand for him. Thanks. Another 